جزاكم الله خير. Question says, are the angels, or with regards to the angels being physical, what about the jinn? We say there lies no doubt. There are ayat and there are hadith that prove that the jinn as well are physical. From their creation, smokeless fire, okay, the jinn being grabbed, the jinn taking on forms of other animals, all right, different things, the jinn eating things, the jinn having animals, riding beasts. All of these things that are mentioned in these ahadith prove that the jinn as well have what? Physical bodies. Physical forms. Suleiman alayhi salam, kulla banna'in wa'awas. Allah says we gave Solomon all of these type of shayateen who, who did things in front of him. Some of them were builders and constructors. Others were divers. Shayateen. Shayateen. What What's meant by the shayateen are... Is a benefit for us, the jinn. Okay? Yani, in other words, Umar, we say what? Huh? Evil jinn or? That we're going to get to right now. We have different concepts. All lined up like this. Jinn, shaytan, ifrit, marid, evil jinn, rebellious jinn, so on and so forth. There is a general terminology, shayateen. Is a general terminology of jinn. Sometimes the word shaitan is mentioned as mimai a jinn. Sometimes the word shaitan is mentioned as iblis himself. Allah's curse upon him himself. Nafsuhu. You understand this? But in general, the general rule, the general rule, as some of the ulama say, that the jinn are offspring of iblis. They say you're what? Offspring of iblis. There are some jinn who are pious and righteous, and there are some jinn who are evil. And sometimes the word shayateen, Solomon's jinn, where all of the jinn were shayateen, were Solomon, were they evil? Kufar, disbelievers? Allah tells about Sulaiman and tells about the Ifrit, Khal Ifritu min al jinn. A strong jinn said, a knowledgeable one said, is the jinn or someone else that will have a difference of opinion? I remember the word shayateen and jinn, sometimes they're what? Interchangeable. It doesn't necessarily mean they're evil jinn. It doesn't necessarily mean that. A demon doesn't necessarily have to be someone who's evil. Not necessarily. It all depends on how it's used and when it is used. al him evil, good or bad, Muslim or kafir. We have hadith. I mentioned to you a few of them. huh? That give them physical attributes and descriptions. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surely knows best.